Today we see which is better, the new Yu-Gi-Oh set Battles of Legend or the old Yu-Gi-Oh set Brothers of Legend. What's up guys, we're back with another new Yu-Gi-Oh opening. We have the newest Yu-Gi-Oh set, Battles of Legend Crystal Revenge with those Starlight Exodia pieces potentially inside. And we have last year's set, Brothers of Legend First Edition. We're gonna be doing a little head-to-head -head battle. We're gonna see which is better, last year's or this year's. I mean, last year did have Dragoon, it had the Leviathan Dragon, it had some pretty cool stuff. This year has the Exodia pieces, it has Yada, Starlight, it has access code. So let me know in the comments what you think will win. I'm giving away every card pulled in this video. So make sure to like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and let me know which one you think will win. Crystal Revenge or Brothers of Legend? Is it just brother? It's just straight up Brothers of Legend. So we're back to Battles of Legend. Now it's very confusing, but do that to end of the giveaway. Let's get into the opening. All right, let's open these things up real quick, and then we will get right into the opening, and we will do a little 48 pack battle. All right, here we go. The battle begins now. We got battles between the Battles of Legend and Brothers, of course. All right, let's do this. Brothers of Legend. I don't even remember what's in here besides the Dragoon. I don't know what kind of pack trick we do. Let's just go through it. Kuribu, Beatrice, Infernoid. Interrupt. It's at the back? Oh, and Nibiru right off the bat. That's a good card. Yeah, they're actually... Oh, yeah, now it's coming back to me. We have the Magician Souls. We have Nibiru. We have the uh, the cards, the Immortal Destiny card, whatever that card's called, the uh, the Malicious Bane. We have the uh, Dusted Gold. We got stuff like that. A lot of good cards to pull in there, but I think they were like short printed and stuff, so it's kind of weird. We got the uh, Doodoodle Book. We've got the Dyna Base. Very cool. Tura Roku. We got the Senko. And the Doodle Beast. Hey, Stego. We got two Doodle cards right off the bat. There's only like two or three of them in here, so you know, there's at least three. There's the Doodle Book. Stego and then the the Tyrannosaurus one. I think there might be one other like trap or something. I'm not really sure. Well, yeah, I didn't need to do that. I don't know what I just did. I put it right to the front. All right, Centaur Mina, Secret Rare. I remember Brothers of Legend. The thing with this was all the good cards were short printed, so it was pretty hard to like actually get the good ones. So a lot of people didn't like that too much about that. So far, I don't know the ratios of, of the Battles of Legend because we've only been opening it. It's only the second, third box I've opened, I guess, because we opened two yesterday. The Cicada and the Advanced Crystal Beast Ruby Carbuncle. I don't think these... The Advanced Crystal Beast, the, the prices weren't really there. There's already cheap and the set hasn't even released yet. So I'm guessing that those aren't going to be the big draw of this set. But there is, of course, a lot of other cool stuff that we talked about in yesterday's video. So we'll see if we can get something like that. So far, it looks like the Brothers is winning. Because I think uh, Nibiru actually was not one of the short printed cards. But it was one of the best cards in the set. So very nice bowl. I just threw the pack. Okay. Let's see if we can get something decent. This is going to be somewhat of an unfair battle in terms of value because, as I've said, this set has not come out yet, so some of the cards are holding way better value than they should. So it's probably going to be difficult for Brothers of Legend to keep up, but we're going to see what happens anyway. If they pull, like, a Starlight, they might still be able to pull it out. Yeah, I didn't really think about the the fact that, uh, yeah, the values are going to be a little bit too high on the Battles of Legend right now. Kuribo, White Mirror, Fossil Dig. So this is where it's really going to matter. You're going to have to let me know in the comments what you think once. So... If, like, I'm guessing Battles of Legend Crystal Events probably wins the value battle, that's not the end-all be-all. It all matters about what you guys say. So let me know which one you think was better in terms of quality cards. Crystal Skull, Blackwing Simoon, the Poison, Toolbox, and Doodle Beast Tyranno. We've already got three of the Doodle cards. Very nice. Looking super nice on the Doodle front. Looking very cool. Make sure to let me know what you think about this new set in the comments. I have not actually read the comments yet from today's video because it only just came out a couple of hours ago. So we have not seen what you guys think yet. So... I'm kind of excited to read those, and then let me know again if I don't see yours in the last one. I'll check it out on this video. Let's see. So far, this has been a bad Battles of Legend box. Blackwing, Samoon, we got the Tool box, Fusion Destiny. Okay, there we go. That's one that's pretty nice. It looks really, really good. Card's not extremely used anymore like it was. I think some decks still use, like, the Hero deck and maybe a couple other ones, but still decent. Oh, don't do a pack trick here. We have the uh, Astraltopia, the Insector Exabeetle, Ice Mirror. Summon Storm. Speedroid Scratch. We got a little scratch off there. Okay. Back to battles. Battles versus Brothers. Also, let me know in the comments, do you like Battles of Legend or Brothers of Legend better? There's been like four battles or maybe even five Battles of Legend. There's been one Brothers. So they switched it over, I think, because of the Karibo cards. But uh, now they're back. So I don't really know. Advanced Crystal Beast. Sapphire Pegasus. Beautiful card. How many uh, Karibos have we pulled? So last time it was about the Karibos. Now it's about the Crystal Beast, which is both archetype, you know, anime archetype cards there's a karibu and there's speak of the devil there's a ghost right there <laughs> infernoid not really but it's close and then ring winged recruital is this the one that was like 50 dollars at the beginning and then it went under a dollar i think that was it it was one of those cards there was one card that was 50 bucks and then it became less than one dollar it was a quite the fall from grace 
Cobalt Eagle, very cool. Salamon, Great Circle, Advanced Dark, Morphtronic, Advanced Crystal Beast, Cobalt Eagle, very nice. A lot of Crystal Beasts out of this, uh, you know, Crystal Revenge set, so not a surprise there. Well, let's see how Brothers can hold up today. Will they pull something amazing? Kariba! The Icebound God, the Sylphid Wing. We've got the. I didn't say any of that right. We got Ya. Yowie! Yowie, I was wrong. Alright, next pack. Let's see what we got. Battles of Legend. You gotta believe in the heart of the cards. We have Blackwing, Graham, the Shining Star. Why does this look like the Blackluster Soldier? The Blackluster Soldier, Soldier of Chaos. He's like doing the same pose. He's like holding his sword in the same spot. Very weird. And with this cat, we got the uh, Stubborn Mahir. We got the Aerith Bolt. And. Oh! I forgot this card was in here. This is one of the best cards. We didn't even talk about this yesterday. Borolod Savage Dragon. And it's actually a good rarity. Before it was like an ultra rare. And then I don't remember what they did with the reap. Well, I, it was the Prismatic Secret. So it looks good too. But another secret rare. Wow, that's a great pull. That is a really good one. You guys can win that one in the giveaway. So make sure to enter it. That is insane. Borolod Savage Dragon's in here. That's one of the big ones. So it's Access Code and Borolod are two of the very best cards that get reprinted in here. Fossil Big, nice. And number 99. I say that that is even if the prices come down that's still one of the best cards you're going to pull from this battles of legend set besides like starlights and stuff so that's pretty amazing i was not expecting that because i did see that that was in there and i totally forgot about it we got the uh, clockwork knight this one was like 20 bucks in the pre-sale stuff so i didn't know it was like that valuable so that's actually a pretty nice one i'm sure it will not be at the beginning but still i mean starting at 20 usually if you start high other than wing requ requital and stuff like that but uh, that usually means it's a good card. Performer Pal, Curry B, or at least people think, or Corobal, Corobal, is that the one? Usually people at least think it's going to be good. So they could be wrong, but some people think it's going to be good. DD Crow, very nice. Hot Springs, Crystal Heart, Token Collect. This is a great pack. And then the uh, Trithalon, that's not a great secret rare, but two good ultra rares in there. We will take it. Now we will get the Astral Topia, the Exo Beetle. We got the Ice Mirror, Summon Storm, Lyralisk Bird Strike, Vetiku. Crystal Revenge. Let's go. We have two from the back. Desert Shark. Curse Reflection Doll. Token Collector. Pebble Dog. Another tried the lawn. Okay, that's that's pretty awful, but, you know, what can you do? Brothers of Legend. I, I don't really have any idea where we are. I'm kind of just picking random packs. Maybe we're halfway? I don't really know. Let's go. Let's see if we can pull a big one. Fossil Dig. Astral Topia. AI Show. Stealth Kraken Spawn. Okay, nothing too crazy. So far, like, we were... You know, theorizing that maybe they increase the pull rates on the Starlight. So far, this will be my third box. Haven't seen any evidence of that. I mean, that's the thing, though. It's There's a Chaos Space. That's beautiful. It's completely random either way. Like, even if they haven't increased it, we could have pulled it in the first few boxes. But we at least can say we haven't pulled one yet. So we don't, you know, we haven't seen that they're easier to pull. But even just pulling one would not really prove that. But Rebirth Judgment, it would at least make us think, huh, maybe, maybe they are a little easier to pull. We're going to find out more when we do live streams later this week when we're opening a ton of this product. So keep an eye out for that. It's going to be super fun. It's going to be awesome. Topaz Tiger Rainbow Bridge. Advanced Crystal Beast Emerald Tortoise. We're getting a lot of those. Brothers of Legend. So far, Brothers of Legend has an Nibiru. That's it. I think that's basically all they've pulled. We have AI. Keep trying to do the pack trick. Red Ice Fusion was good when it came out. White Mirror, The Shark. And by when it came out, I mean when Brothers of Legend came out, not when Red Ice Fusion came out, because I don't think it was good in Core originally, but maybe it was. I could be wrong. If you were around when Core came out, was Red Ice Fusion used at all? I doubt it. Nine and Base with the Morphtronic. Okay, not used, but like in, in competitive. Another Fusion Destiny. This is actually a pretty good box. Pretty good box of uh, Crystal Events for sure. Brothers of Legend, not so much. We did get a Nibiru, though, so you can't complain. Another Red Ice Fusion. Left Hand Shark. Where's the Right Hand Shark? And Relinquished Anima. That's actually a pretty solid pull. Okay, we'll take that. It's probably a couple bucks for the uh, brother's side. Let's see. We have Dragon Nails. We have Dragon Tails, Dragon Heroic Call, and the Chaos Creator, another beautiful card. We're getting a lot of Tune Chaos cards. We're getting a lot of Crystal Beasts. Kind of the main focus around this set. It's pretty crazy. I wish they had made the Blackwing Secret Rares. That would have been really, really nice. If they made the Blackwing stuff secret. I don't think it was really worth it because they're not that valuable, but still would have been cool for those Edison decks. Would be pretty awesome. Brothers of Legend, bless us with something crazy like a Starlight. I would love to give away a Starlight. That would be cool. We've never actually done that, where we've done like a giveaway for like what we pull and then pulled a Starlight. That would be pretty awesome. We have Odd Eyes Persona Dragon. This one was pretty valuable too because it's the first reprint. So it's like the, uh, whatever the promo was or something. So that's a cool pull. Brothers, we got Ice Knight. We got Appliancer. There we go. Uh, King Scarlet, shout out. We got the Dollhouse. We got the uh, Iding Spirit. We've got the Grandpa Demetto. 
It seems like we have a lot more Crystal Revenge, but I think it's just because we have it on both sides. I think that's why. Oh, the packs are going everywhere. Can we pull a big Starlight? Let's go. Edge M Chain. That's actually a great reprint because that was expensive for a little bit. We got a Lilla. Nice secret room. We're getting it down towards the end. Let me know once again. What are you guys thinking about these new sets? How do you feel about the brother slash Battles line in general? Do you like it? Do you think it's decent? Starlight Road actually, yeah, I actually need this for an Edison deck, so I'm going to have to wait till. Oh, wait, I'm giving this away, and I'm not opening more Brothers, am I? So I guess we'll have to find another one. <laughs> we'll have to find another one. This is not the new set. This is the set from last year. All right, Royal Straight, Carbuncle, Pebble Dog, Gadget Box, and Evil Twin Lilla again. It's, these are weird. It feels like you get repeats a lot in the Battles of Legend. I don't know why, but it feels like you get a lot of repeat secret rares, which seems like that should not happen because there's normally a lot of secret rares, but maybe there's not as many this time. There's a Shield Bearer. I don't know. It's weird. I mean, and then some you don't pull. So I bet there are short prints. Like the, I bet the Savage is a short print. I bet, of course, Access Card Code Talker is a short print. So we're like pulling the same ones because we're pulling from the pool of there's a Phantasma, very nice, of non-short printed secrets. So we're gonna get those a lot more. And usually those short printed ones hold value a lot more because they are less likely to be pulled. You know, less available sold and stuff like that. Soul Binding Gate and D Force. So it does seem like there is some sort of short print-ish stuff going on. I'm not sure if it's true or not. So we're going to have to find out. Giddy Crew, uh, based on when some other people open or when I open my giant cases. Or not giant cases, but multiple cases. Yeah, they're the same size cases as everybody else, but you know what I'm saying. All right. We are probably down like four or five packs left in each. Uh, Chaos. Wait, what is that? Cypher Interference. Okay. Silent Sea Nettle. We got the uh, Resurgam and XYZ. I don't think I really read these cards very much when they first came out because I don't remember these names. Okay, just a few packs left in each. Can we pull something big to make this a really crazy video? I would love to do that. How about we do it? We have Amber Mammoth, Emblem, Gravity Balance, Avenger Red Savior, and Doom Kaiser. I think this is one of the prettiest ones they made. It looks very good. Like the something about the synchro, guys. I don't know. It's the synchros. They just always look good in like higher rarity. I don't know what it is. It must just be the the white borders and same thing with XCs. Like the black borders also look really good. Fusion and Utopic Sage. I don't know if there's like a a reason for that like i'm i know there's people that like they just know random things like yeah this color makes this look better for you know this reason and i'm sure there's somebody out there that could tell me why people like synchro and xc's high rarity cards why do they look better than like you know maybe an effect monster or something like that something about the color of white and black which i think those are technically not colors right something about the lack of color or all the colors something like that i think that's white is all the colors i just did a pack trick didn't need to I don't know. I feel like I'm going back to like elementary school when we learned that stuff. Wasn't it? That feels like back in the day you'd learn about which colors mix together, all that stuff. I don't know how we got on this tangent, but let's just open the last few packs. Let's just get off the colors. I know I'm struggling big time just talking about random stuff. Emblem, very nice. Stonehenge. Stonehenge. <laughs> There's literally a card called Stonehenge. Toon Arby Lady, cool. And a Blackbeard Plunder Patrol Captain. All right, that's not too crazy. Two packs to go. Not a great Brothers box, um, but if you remember... There wasn't a lot of Great Brothers boxes. They just weren't that good. So I'm hoping that this set turns out to be a little better. Silent Sea Nettle. They put a lot of good cards, but it was hard to pull everything. So nobody really liked it. Beatrice and Altergeist Feed You Alert. Okay. And so far, it does seem like maybe the big, you know, Access Code, World Savage, they might be short printed like last year. So I really hope that's not the case, but it definitely could be. I don't think short printing is a thing they should do. I think before we get into this last pack, they can literally short print by upgrading the rarity. Like, they're just short printing it in the same rarity, which I think is bad. I don't like it. But I think when they just make a higher rarity and make it that card, then I'm okay with it. Because then it's like, okay, well, at least it's a cool rarity. It's higher rarity, hold a little bit better value. But instead, you just make it a short print secret. It doesn't feel great. All right, at least Cicada, uh, Chaos Daedalus. We got the Crystal Heart. Man, Stark, last card. Here we go. And we got a Crystal Beast to end it off. Not bad. So pretty interesting battle there. It's interesting to see those sets side by side. It feels like they're printing it in a similar way where like the top cards are short printed, which is never that great when it's the same rarity as other secret rares that you just pull over and over and over. So let me know in your, you know, in the comments how you feel about that. Or if you think that I'm wrong, maybe my boxes just are like that. And maybe we'll find out when there's like a better sample size. And if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content. Shout out to Toe Info Show, Daxter, Tomato Juice, JT Cho, TCG Trusted Cards, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy, Flexi Boy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Micycle, Melancholy, and then High Show, Christopher Ward, Ian Musa, John Nolan, Junior Barding, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Stanley, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.